Hey, welcome back everyone. I uh, wanted to uh, show you all my new project. I uh, picked up a, a wagon uh, on uh, Facebook and uh, I got it for 30 bucks. So the lady said that, that it had been sitting in her backyard and that the wheels might be, the tubes might be replaced. So I picked it up anyway. Um, it was 30 bucks and uh it wasn't too far away so it was about like 10 minutes away so i picked it up here in katie and here it is so uh during our jetty trips we couldn't take much much stuff around to the jetty so i decided that that we needed a cart so one thing about about this cart it's a little short uh, the tires are a little small for the jetty if it starts getting a little rough you know uh, between rocks and stuff like that it's a pretty nice cart uh, you can take all the, the sides down and, and so on but um, the one thing that I want to do is I want to lift it so I went to Harbor Freight and I got these tires they're 13 inch tires so that's going to be my upgrade just so I can be able to sit it up a little higher and my next project would be to lift the actual cage up and and get it a little bit higher also now I think the I think the uh, I think the challenge is going to be is to get these I know this stud's going to be a little short for this application so I might have to make another axle that's longer yeah it's a little too short the bolt goes and it's, it's kind of wobbly and I doubt this will catch on well, it did catch on but I can't put a washer on it yeah I can't do that so This is a solid shaft. Huh. And is So I went ahead and went to tractor supply and I got these eight and a quarter. It's like eight inch shaft. Could be like eight inch. It's eight and a quarter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut, because my plan is to, to extend this shaft and that will give me the length.
this to this all the way across and that should be a really good fit. So if I do that, see I need three and a quarter inches or at least that's a two and five eighths. That's a two and five eighths shot to the so the nut can can tighten. So what I need is from here to here be two and a quarter, or I can shim it out. So what I'll do. So I can cut to two and a quarter here. That'll give me enough shine. So I have to cut here. So I have to cut almost an inch off so I can get that turn. So I'm gonna get the chop saw. I'm gonna get the chop saw and cut an inch off of these. Let's do that. So this is my uh, Evolution cold cutting saw, steel saw. So I got this uh, on uh, Amazon. Uh, they were when they first started. And now I'm sure they have sort of different variations of it, but uh, I like the saw, it's been cutting really good, so I paid like $1.99 shipped or something like that. So we're going to cut an inch off of this thing, what I like about this saw It's got this little fence. <laughs> little red where it came off. But other than that, cuts are really, really good. So let's see if this is going to... <clears throat> Work for it. I'm going to put a bigger one. Okay. And that 
give me enough to put a washer, to put a... a give me room for everything there, so that's going to work out perfect. So now, I'm going to cut my other three. I'm going to cut my other three. See how clean that cut is? Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to cut my other three and weld them on. I think it needs that much weld, but why not?
It is a Lincoln 175. I've been building pits and all kinds of goodies with that. doing a pretty decent job the uh <clears throat> little harbor freak <clears throat> one thing about one thing about this hood <clears throat> it's automatic but i put a a cheater glass on here so it can magnify to uh, 1.25 just to match my glasses and I tried a 1.5 and it was a little bit too much but the 1.25 works awesome so I got the I got the the glass at uh, Northern Tool of course the, the helmet was from uh, I think this was Northern Tools also or Harper Freight either or I don't remember but it was like on sale for like $39 several years ago I decided to buy one works really well <coughs> so we're gonna <laughs> let's check these <coughs> these are these cooled off Oh yeah. <laughs> I want 
the foot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna have to go get a, a different washer for this, because then it'll stop the bearing from turning. So I'll come back and do that. Make sure they turn. I thought. I thought this wheel. I thought this wheel had a washer here, but. This is part of the wheel. Yeah, that beefed it up quite a bit. the tire. I was even thinking of going higher on this thing. Very cool. Well that's done. Now I gotta put fishing rod holders and all kind of goodies on it. <laughs> That turned out pretty freaking cool.
cool or what? Of course, I'm gonna come back and put a washer on there. Just so I can give me a good smooth surface on it. But that. That turned out pretty cool. Now I need to uh, put the fishing rod holders and everything else I can do. Cool. Stay tuned. Almost done.